Hi, I'm Lana Gibbs, clinical educator here at SOVSC, and today I would like to introduce our new PC VetCheck wireless ECG patient monitors. This equipment is used when we want a wireless option for monitoring our post-op surgical patients that may be experiencing arrhythmias or when we have cardiac patients in the hospital that require monitoring of their heart rates and rhythms. So these new units will be added onto the floor in addition to the old units. Um, you can kind of see the difference in size between the old and the new. Uh, these old ones tended to be a little bit cumbersome. We have a lot of cords that we have to deal with that tend to get uh, tangled up with patients. Um, we've also been dealing with the foot loops that require frequent re-wetting with alcohol and that alcohol causes those to deteriorate very quickly. So we're going to be looking at some new options that will hopefully make our jobs and lives easier both for our patients and for our staff. We have four new kits available with new equipment. These will be joining the other equipment that we've had in the past. Each of these new kits is uniquely named. This one happens to be Eleanor and everything, every component that is in each kit is also carefully labeled. This will help with maintenance in the future so that if we have um, a, p and a piece of equipment that is damaged or needs to be replaced, um, Jeremy will be able to see exactly where that new item needs to go. Um, in addition, it will help with just general maintenance because when we clean up after a pet or if items are left out on counters, we'll know exactly which kit it needs to go into. Um, I would mention that with these, you need to remember that these wireless units run on batteries. So make sure if you start to use a unit and it doesn't work for you, the first thing you should do is change those batteries. The other things in the kit are the primary connector cable. Unlike our old units that had wire or little pins that had to be lined up, these have an extra little attachment on them so it lines up really easily with the outlet and just snaps right in. Attached to the primary connector cables, then you attach your electrodes, your electrode clips, and again these are all labeled for the kit that they came from. These clips attach to these adhesive electrode pads. These stick to your patient and then these clips attach right there and they're actually quite secure. Each kit has a supply of alcohol pads and we'll talk more about how we prep our patients to make these electrode pads stick effectively. I know that's a major concern for some of you. Um, and in the cases where we have patients that these absolutely will not work, such as Sharpays that have oily skin, we are maintaining the foot loops and the alligator clips. So you can use those instead if the electrode clips are not an option for you. These are the alligator clips. They are also labeled. Or we still have the foot loop option and they are also labeled and color coded. An extra thing that this unit has that our others did not is a temperature probe. This is a rectal probe, so it's quite useful for patients that are post-op that might not have come back up to temperature or if you have a critical patient that's not maintaining their temperature. This plugs right into the unit for maintenance. Um, there is also a Velcro strap that comes with that. I don't have it shown, but there's a Velcro strap so that you can attach this to the patient's tail if need be. Now, occasionally we'll have patients that are still too small to um, attach this unit to them, and I'll show you how that goes, but we do have these cage front kits that can cover the cases. You unhook the cable, it slides into the case, snaps down, and then there's hooks on the back to hang, hang on the cage door. And there is a port right there where your cable attaches. So that would be your, your cage door unit for your small patients, um, cats, little puppies, kittens, things like that. The majority of our patients moving forward though, will be using our new cardio vests that we have. We've gotten these new vests ordered in in four different sizes. Um, this one happens to be the medium, and each one comes with a Velcro pouch. You've got your unit connected, slides into the pouch like that, Velcro goes over the top, 
and secures, and then it attaches directly to the vest. The wires that we have here can be fed into the vest to be secured so that they're not um, down on the cage floor with your patient. And these electrode pads, we'll talk about more the placement of those to make it um, easy for manageability. This is Daisy. She's one of our patients here in the hospital that's in need of continuous ECG monitoring. I've already prepped her left and right rear and placed her pads there for her electrodes. And I'm about to place the electrode pad for the right front. When you prep these, you just need to shave nice and close using a 40 blade, just like you would with the surgical prep. You need to make sure that you clean that carefully with alcohol, alcohol pads, or you can use alcohol spray and gauze until you're not getting any residue back on those gauze, pad, gauze pads to make sure that they're clean and that you've removed all the oil from the skin. To place the pads, you just peel the, that part off, which exposes the wet electrode. And we're going to place it on her skin and put pressure there just for about 15 or 20 seconds to make sure that it's got good adhesion. One tip we have for when applying these, once you open it, if you apply just a tiny drop of gel to this, that center pad, will help with your conductivity. Be careful not to get it on the adhesive strip around the outside. If you do, then get a new pad to use. Okay, we have our electrodes attached. I'm going to go ahead and attach these leads to each one. Again, paying attention to my color codes. White is your right front. Green is right rear. And red is left rear. And these stay on quite nicely. And then attach my leads. Again, paying attention to color coding. And then all of this cable can be coiled up underneath our jacket. We're going to feed that through our little hidey hole there. Close our vest. Attach our unit, turn it on in preparation for attachment to the computer system, the monitoring system, and then it can just go into its little bag, close our little Velcro strap, and then it attaches to the back side of the dog. And now we are good to go. Now that your patient is ready, um, we're going to show you how to attach your devices to the computer system on the floor. So on your patient, your PC vet check should have a solid red light here, indicating that it's waiting for connection. Then you're going to go to your PC display on your computer screen, double click on your PC display. It will give you a screen asking which remote device you want to attach to. So all four names are listed here. You will also see the three names of the older devices that we still will have available on the floor. You can choose any device. In this case, we are going to choose Eleanor. And then I'm going to hit connect. Once you do this, uh, you're going to get a screen that asks you for patient information. This is part of our new policy rolling out, we need to enter the patient ID number so that we will have an interface to record our patient data in EasyVet for the medical record. So please make sure that you are doing this. In this case with Daisy, our number is 863579. The patient ID number is the only critical piece of information to enter. If you choose to enter the rest, you can, but it's not necessary. We're going to click OK. Once you do that, you should see your patient e patient's ECG appear on the screen. This is a demo. You'll have your heart rate shown, your respiratory rate. If you are using the temperature probe, that will be shown as well. You can turn on and off your alarms here at the top. This is just your heart rate monitor, audible monitor. And then there's also an alarm monitor too that you can turn on and off. Also, 
also, once these things are attached and running, you'll notice that the light on your PC vet check, you now have a fast flashing green light indicating that it is connected with your system and also this blue flashing light that indicates that it is recording all of the activity. All right, everybody, that completes the video training for the PC Vet Check ECG telemetry monitor. We hope you enjoyed the video. We appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this. And if you have any questions, please check in with Lana, our clinical educator. We have also included a single uh, summary cheat sheet to help you with some of the quick details while you're working on the floor. And we uh, thank you for taking time to watch this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.